This must be very careful uh, when handled with hot oil. Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Some Tip. Today I'm going to cook chili oil or chili blajan oil. So the ingredients I have about 80 grams of chili flake, uh, about 250 grams of cooking oil, one tablespoon of dry shrimp or udang kering, one and a half tablespoon of blajan or shrimp paste, and three cloves of garlic. But before you start to work on this chili and handle the chili, just make sure that to protect yourself with face mask. Because when we handle the chili flake, right, the chili powder can really cause the sneezing or coughing. So maybe lead to some sore throat or something like that. And one more thing, when you touch the chili, try not to touch your face or even your body part because the heat of the chili can really hurt your skin. Alright, so I'm going to put on my mask. So um, for the chili flake, if you want to make it yourself, you can just use the dry chili like this just take enough use the scissors to cut it into the smaller pieces and put it in the grinder So the fineness of the chili that you want to grind is uh, really up to you, how fine that you want. But I like it to have it a bit flaky, so I just grind this this much. This is the uh, chili flake. But it's another alternative as well. If you don't want to do all this trouble, you can get a chili flake from the shop. This I bought it from um, Big with Yen, um, something like a bakery supplier so they have everything like that so something like this is good so you don't have to, to go through the hassle of grinding the chili so now we have all the ingredients ready let's go and cook it heat the pan and I'm going to put in just a little bit of oil just put in the garlic for the garlic I cut it into thinner slices for the blajan, I make it into a flat paste so we can uh, fry it like this. And for the dry shrimp or the udang kering, I wash it with hot water and then I'm going to fry it as well. Just take them burn very quickly. Garlic is already cooked, so I'm going to take it up, put it together with the dry prawn. Just put it aside and put it together. Alright, now we have all three ingredients nicely fried. In the same pan, we're going to switch on the heat again. And this time we're going to put a lot of oil. We're going to cook the oil. So I put about 200 grams of uh, cooking oil. To see all these ingredients we cooked just now, I'm going to put it in the grinder. You see, now it's nicely grind. It doesn't have to be very fine, it's okay. It can be in the mixing bowl. I'm going to put in the chili, the chili flake. When put in the chili flake, please put on your mask. Okay. And um, this mixing bowl is make sure that this bowl it has to be the bowl that it can take very high heat because we're going to pour the boiling oil in it. So we're going to put in the lachan and the dry shim that we grind just now. Put everything in. Just give it a mix. Don't 
don't forget to put on your face mask when you mix the chili like this and then we're gonna wait for the oil to heat up and then we're gonna pour the oil over if you want to check whether the oil is ready you just need to just put in the chili if it's fried like that means the oil is okay so I'm going to switch off the heat and we're going to take the oil and pour over here and we're going to pour the oil here this must be very careful huh, when handled with hot oil give it a stir oh smells so good but again I'm emphasizing that when you pour the hot oil onto the chili make sure that you put on your mask or else the fume or the, uh, the smoke will get into your nose and you will cause sneezing by putting the hot boiling oil in, onto the chili flake like this the chili flake is already cooked so now we're going to leave it to cool and then we can put it in the jar all right now the chili oil is nicely cool to the room temperature just one thing right when it cool down it tend to absorb uh, most of the oil in there maybe it's slightly dry if you want to you can add on some more oil by just heat up the oil and pour it over so in this case i have also added some more oil um, just a little all right now it's already nice and cool now we can keep it Alright, that is a very simple recipe how to make chili belacan oil to keep in the house.